Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live projects for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. I know uh, what we say, uh, this is the default synchronization time, okay? And see here, Selenium core extension. Yeah. For example, say for example, you are an excellent developer and you have innovative ideas, okay? Say you have come up with some approach. You thought that, you thought that Selenium IDE might have some kind of a link between the Selenium IDE to Eclipse. Basically, we have file export this case and we are exporting uh, no we are selecting this and we are exporting into some file right instead of that you thought that it is good if you have a button here export into eclipse something like that you thought that you wanted a button here and uh, you know that button when you click on that button the whatever we have recorded here that should be exported into eclipse say you thought that you can develop that kind of feature in selenium ide okay it is a open source Okay, the main logic, Selenium ID itself is a software, right? The software logic will be given to you. It, it will be, you know, it will be easy to get the software ID download. Okay, in the website that I have shared. In that website, you will get this Selenium ID. Okay, for that, you can, you know, develop this logic. You know, the button that whatever you thought of having, okay, you can develop a logic. That logic, that logic can be developed in JavaScript. Okay, that have to be developed in JavaScript. Say convert into uh, instead of export into Eclipse. Say you thought to uh, you know have this button. You thought to have this button. Yes, you can develop this this particular option using JavaScript. Okay, once you develop that, once you develop that, you can configure it to your tool from here options options oh sorry this will be that will be selenium ide extension okay the thing that the option that i'm talking about export into eclipse this is the button okay this you can write using javascript okay uh, you know then you can export into selenium ide extension you can browse through and you can export so that that feature will be enabled here okay and similar way uh, you know this Selenium core extensions means means uh, you know uh, what we can say uh, you can you can have your own commands. I was mentioning this commands right. This send keys, this click, send keys, uh, this click and write, open. These are the you know commands that I have given by Selenium IDE. In similar way, if you want to develop your own command, you can do that. You can do that using Selenium, uh, this particular options. Okay, Selenium core extensions. This is for, I know this is for having customized command. This is for having customized feature in Selenium IDE. Okay, so basically, you know, this, yeah, no, if you observe uh, recently on 9th August, we got this Selenium IDE uh, new release, right? So, uh, which is because of, you know, uh, everyone, uh, you know, the person who has enthusiastic and who has very good knowledge in JavaScript, they can develop the new features. So that is the reason, you know, very frequently the Selenium IDE changes. Okay, you can contribute your, you know, knowledge to this if you want. Once you can contribute, you can share it to the this Selenium HQ organization. They will embed it. They will embed that feature in coming versions. 
okay and apart from that there will be some you uh, know normal options remember jc url record as a title automatically we'll discuss about this as a title okay but uh, it is asking to uh, you know record some command automatically you know record absolute url at absolute url means this url you know sometimes if you want to say this is complete your url you wanted to use this url uh, in your script yes you can use that url or when even when you record it is going to record record absolute url active developer tools this you uh, know our we are using firebug right those firebugs enable experimental features which is nothing but these two this one and this one which comes as part as part of experimental features okay disable format change warning messages it means you know actually when we changing this format previously we had here in selenium html format right from html format we were changing into java so basically when we change that format it it used to uh, give a warning messages so because of this it was not giving any warning message okay start recording uh, immediately on open uh, it means i know when we open selenium ide by default it is in recording mode right because of this option okay because of this option by default when we open selenium ide it was in recording mode okay this is about general uh, options in selenium ide this talks about format okay so again you can configure some formats you know into your define dif you know different things see here this is selenium uh, java generated for web driver okay you know there is something called variable name you can configure the variable name as by default this selenium has given driver okay so all the logic will be generated in this format okay you can observe here indent two spaces indent means uh, you know uh, what we call let me show it up indent means see here we have entered some text right so i'm using tab here so this particular part is called as indent okay say i want to outdent it means this is called as outdent so here you know how many indent means how many spaces you wanted to have two spaces okay you can even you can still uh, configure this two or what how many spaces that you wanted you can configure this by default it has given this so you can configure or you can change the existing things okay plugins yeah you know if you observe here we have c sharp java python ruby right these are the plugins apart from that apart from that i know i said this also works for perl for perl actually we need to uh, install one more plugin okay that will, that plugin will be shown here and locate locator builders you know what are the different locators that we have uh, you know uh, what are the different builders that you wanted to support in ide yeah, see here we know this id link name css we know these three things right these four things apart from that we know export in export actually it it, ha it has multiple form forms okay export link export image export it has multiple positions apart from that you know it has something called ui i was mentioning if you observe here this ui element right this ui element which is related to this ui actually this is user defined user defined uh, you know element user defined uh, locator i know in reality we will not use this much i will explain how and what are the locators that uh, your id is going to support here it is just listed out here okay yeah see a drag and drop the locator builders on the left side to change their uh, you know order it means uh, you know the order of this by default it will try to use id and by default it is try to link and name this is the order of identifying the elements if you want to change this order if you want to change this order you can do that okay yeah, web driver i know uh, enable web driver playback means you know what will happen uh, see here this option choose this option to upload after the new media resort yes here may not be very stable can you read out this uh, 
uh, this option I was uh, you know even uh, I use it rarely we will discuss it okay this is about selenium IDE options to be frank I know our for us uh, you know we never use much here even general format plugins locator builders web driver we don't use much anything here uh, maybe you know sometimes if you are, if you create your own extensions your own commands and your own uh, and of features, maybe we will use this. Apart from that, we will not use much here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, here, yeah, Hebel is asking this. DOM means uh, this uh, documentary, uh, what we call document object model. Okay. Uh, this actually uh, HTML itself is called as a document. Okay. This is one kind of, uh, you know, locator, uh, DOM locator. We call it as a DOM locator. Okay. If you observe here, uh, We have this right. Right click here. It should show something about DOM. Yeah, inspect in DOM panel. Can you see here? So this you know, DOM means actually the same thing can be represented in DOM format. It's like document dot. Uh, what we call uh, you know the section dot again the same the same way it is like uh, export in export we use slashes right here we use dot this we call as document object uh, object model this is another way of identifying the objects but I uh, you know as I said most of the times we will try to use ID name if they will not work we will go for export okay here this data has given the feature here Okay, doc doc name, doc index, dom dom index dom, uh, dom uh, uh, name. Okay. So many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are. You will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com On our website h2kinfosys.com you will also find more detailed information on who we are, the courses that we offer, what each course covers. Also if you are interested in a demo program please register on our home page on the left hand side just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class. The demo class is absolutely free. Experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost. Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information. If you still have more questions, please feel free to call us. Call us at 770 Seven 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 one two six nine. This is a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at zero two zero three three seven one seven six one five. You can also email us at training at h two k infosys dot com or h two k infosys at gmail dot com. Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.